redrafting the 2012 AFL Draft. That's right, if it was to happen today, who would pick what player in the top 10 and where? Before we get started, you can watch the 2010-2011 AFL redrafts on my channel, so check that out and follow the TikTok FT Footy. All the way from 10th place down. Now, in 10th place, I've got a ruck, and typically I don't go for rucks in these sort of things because I'm not choosing the 10 best players from 1 to 10. I'm choosing the players that a team would want to draft, and rucks are pretty disposable. You don't need a good ruck to win a flag, and therefore, it's relatively rare to choose a ruck in the top Top 10. However, the Ruck that I have put in the top 10, who was originally at pick 18, they went to Collingwood. From Adelaide, it's Brody Grundy. Brody Grundy, obviously a phenomenal Ruck. People forget how good he was for those sort of two, three prime seasons at Collingwood. Is it City now? He'll be the main Ruck and he should be having a good season. Now, if he went to pick 10, he would have gone to the Essendon Football Club. Uh, they've never, oh, apart from Draper, they've never had a real amazing Ruck in my opinion. But Draper, you know, linking up with Grundy, fuck, that's kind of good. In ninth place, I've got a disposal winning player. Some people wouldn't have him in there and I understand why because I don't think he brings too much else apart from those many, many touches. I've got Jack McRae. Now, Jack McRae originally originally went at pick number six, so not too far away from pick number nine. If he did go at pick number nine, he would have gone to my club, the Richmond Tigers. And what a pick that would have been for us. Uh, unfortunately, he, you know, he avoided us, went to the dogs instead. Look, obviously a phenomenal player. Like I said, he, he doesn't really damage you with his disposals, but the fact he can rack up so many, get the clearances, the tackles, the defensive work, uh, he still is definitely warranted, you know, a top 10 in the AFL redraft from 2012, but I'm not so bullish about him. I never have been and I just feel like those sorts of players come around more often than some players I'll speak about higher up in the draft which is why you know the higher the McRae. Now before I keep going usually I would have an honorable mention to this but this draft sucks. This draft was so stinky compared to 2011 and 2013. The 2012 draft was pretty fucking awful. So I'm doing no honorable mentions uh, 